I think that's what we're saying about because abortion. our fundamental beliefs are different. I don't think it's murder. I think it's that that thing in the in the baby, the, not the baby, but the uterus. You just said that it. Is not, I think I think you just admitted that I'm right. You accident. That's a called a Freudian slip. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving a new video. Today, we're going to be reacting to pro-abortion students owns herself during my care. No wins debates. Okay, this is gonna be my first time checking this out. I'll, I'll love also check it out together because this is gonna be incredible. Let's get right into it. First, I wanna start off by saying I disagree with everything you say. <laughs> Black Lives Matter, stop Asian hate, and leave trans people alone. Here's my question Why what do you say weaponize? about the Asians? I don't think I said anything about Asians. Listen to my question Why okay. do you weaponize religion to justify your subjective opinions? How do you think I've done that? You say that God says, oh, there's men, there's a woman, and just leave that as that. Like, you don't represent religion because we don't live in a country where you can be purely pure based on your religion. Like, you sin, everyone sins, if we yeah. can understand that. So trying to weaponize that against people and try to limit their rights because of what you think God said, God didn't speak to you. You don't well, know, God does you speak to me, and he speaks to no, all of us, no, and we can read his no, word in the Bible, no, and we no, can go to church. No, no that, no, that is true. So what, what you're, you're uh, objecting to is that I've quoted the Bible, and I've said uh, right there in the early chapters of Genesis, in the beginning God made man, both male and female created he them. And you're saying, Michael, why would you weaponize religion that way? But what have I do? all I've done is just quoted the Bible, and I'd be happy to have a conversation about 2,000 years of church history on this subject, and I'm happy to have a conversation about even pre-biblical or extra-biblical sources on it, on the hylomorphic nature of the human being. I'm happy to do that. That's not a weapon against any people. That's a weapon against falsehood. And so the, the only way in which I would turn religion into a weapon is against the devil, and that's what we all have to do, because religion is a habit of virtue that renders to God what he deserves. That's the meaning of the word religion. And so I'm just reading the text and I'm practicing the faith and I'm telling you what the faith has said for 2,000 years. And you might reject it, but I think that it's true. I think religion is true. And you might think that it's false and you might have a different set of beliefs, but one of us is, at the very most, one of us is going to be right. <laughs> and so at the, at the very least, one of us is going to be wrong. And I just happen to be correct about this. <laughs> Okay. You know, I okay. I can respect I can respect the confidence, but it came out of it's just purely delusion. Okay, I I don't I think respect, I don't think Christianity. I delusion, respect but. I respect religions. I respect people's rights, but trying to limit someone's rights by saying, "Well, I believe that God said this, so I'm going to block you from doing this," like abortion. People get raped. People get incest, and it's crazy traumatic situations. And it's very hard for a human to ask a human, oh, keep that baby because God said to. Do you, that do is you, impossible. Do you, think it's hard to, do, you, do you think it's hard to ask someone, hey, don't murder an innocent person, even if you want to, even if that would be convenient? Because that's what we're saying about Because abortion. our fundamental beliefs are different. I don't think it's murder. I think it's that, that thing in the, in the baby, the, not the baby, but the uterus. You just said that it. Is not I, think, <laughs> I think you just admitted that I'm right. You accident, that's a called she a Freudian slip. And I think you just okay, proved the chill, point. Okay, chill out, chill out. But the thing in the uterus is not a baby. That's what I was trying to say. It's just yeah. a clump of cells. It's a tumor. Okay. It's a, it's a tumor. And trying to be like, and trying to be like, it's a baby. It's we just have fundamentally different belief systems, and I don't believe that. No, I don't think it's murder. It's not murder. Right, it's but murder. but the baby in the unlike a tumor, say the baby in the womb. It has the DNA of an individual human being that's different from the DNA of the mother and the baby in the womb True. has all the characteristics of human life. Thank you. And the baby in the womb grows, at a very early stage, grows to take on the form of an individual human being. And the baby in the womb left unmurdered will grow into a full adult-sized human being just like you are. So that would seem to be a, a difference between the baby in the womb and the cancerous tumor. So you're saying, well, I just don't believe that. But you obviously do believe that because you just admitted it because you called the baby a baby. You just don't... You don't want to acknowledge that reality Thank because you. it's inconvenient. And I'm not, I'm not denying that there are inconveniences in the world and there's suffering and there are, there are all sorts of difficult decisions that people have to make, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a right and a wrong answer. And it doesn't even mean that you don't know what it is because you've admitted that you know what it is. Okay, she does admit that uh, it's a baby. Irrespective of how she says it or not. The funny thing about this. Um, abortion of its hand is that we all come to the uterus. We, are, we were all formed 
through the manner that they want to abort. You understand? It, it's, it's very funny because we are all born. Even she, she was born through the uterus. She lived in the uterus for a while before she was born out. So there's the same manner that a baby that they are bought, it is, died and flew out from the mother. It's the same manner you were actually kept and born and brought to life that you are in. But you are, you are trying to take a life of another person and calling it um, a tumor. What's, a, what's an abusive word to use? A tumor. You're calling a, a fetus, a baby, an embryo in the womb of a mother. In the womb of a woman. Let me just say mother. In the womb of a woman, a tumor. What a hurtful word to use. For me, it is very hurtful. And it's, 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 it's absurd. It's, it's very crazy. You call it, you're calling a baby that is about to be born, that will be born probably, a tumor. That is very harsh words to use to describe the fetus, an embryo, or you call it a baby. It's very, very harsh. She is refusing to accept the facts. That is the most painful. That's what is paining me right here. She knows the truth, but she just don't accept the facts. She, she, she stumbled upon the calling it a baby. Like, she got a, uh, from the mother's womb, a baby. You know what it is, but you are refusing to accept what it is. Because you feel like some people are being raped. The truth be told, anyone who raped someone should be dealt with, should be imprisoned. I don't support rape. But a baby that is a result of the rape should not be terminated because he has, he or she, the baby that is going to, that is going to be formed has no faults, has no flaws. He, will, he or she wasn't there when the mother was raped. So you should not call that a tumor. It's an, a very abusive word to use. I, I detest that word she used. It's very, very bad. Because we're, we're all born through that, that process. We're all born through a mother. Do people pass through seers? People use other means of giving birth right now. But every child is through the uterus. Mother, the mother in the womb. We were kept in the womb. It's the same formation. It's the same pattern. With the baby, you are about to terminate. It's the same pattern you came into this world. I love, I love this man, Michael. Like he was cool, coordinated. He, he knows what is all about. He was knowledgeable. You came to, to a battlefront not being fully prepared. That was what this lady did. Michael, right here, he was prepared. He was calm, coordinated, and precise. We need you to also play a role in all this abortion of a thing. But let's leave, let's say, leave religion aside. Biology itself. Let's go into bio, biology itself. Also, the effects of abortion. So, women have erupted pregnancy and they are unable to give birth again for life because of this abortion of everything. So, guys, comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all